Before there was Mad Maggie, there was Mad Mackie. Who do you think taught her everything she knows? Fuse? Psh, that fool doesn't know anything. It was all me, baby. Throwing balls far? She got that from me. She thinks she's the first person that runs faster with shotguns? Come on. You seen Mad Mackie do it first. And don't even get me started on shooting your tooth. I still hold the world record for the longest tooth shot. I shot it from California all the way to Australia. Why do you think Fuse doesn't have an eye? So before you play Mad Maggie, Put some respect on my name. Mad Maggie is the 20th legend in Apex, and just look at how beautiful the character select screen looks. Wowie! You might remember Mad Maggie from the Fuse trailer, since she was Fuse's childhood best friend and later frenemy, as she angrily blew Fuse up and blew off his entire arm. Thanks. Yeah, she's a little bit mad. Just like Fuse, her backstory starts in Salvo, her home where she grew up to become a ruthless mercenary. But later when the Syndicate took over Salvo, she incited rebellion and tried to save it from the Syndicate. But ultimately she failed and was captured and sentenced to death in the Apex Games, where Eduardo Silva wanted her to be. Side note, this is also a rediscovered that Maggie has a very unique ability that 9 out of 10 dentists would not recommend. You see, Eduardo Silva wanted Mad Maggie to come off like a villain to distract from Silva Pharmaceutical's true intentions. What are their intentions? I have zero clue, I'm not the writer. That's Octane's dad, and even Octane doesn't know. So Duardo Silva's like the final boss of Apex Legends, and I love it. So now Mad Maggie is in the Apex games, and all the other legends don't like her. It's kind of sad, and it makes her sad Maggie. So that's Mad Maggie in a nutshell. But like every new season for the past three years, we got some changes. There's no new weapon or map, but hammer points are back and they're on the RE45. It's as crazy as it sounds. Oh, this RE45 broken. is broken, bro. RE45 is busted, holy crap. And we got a new hop up, the Kinetic Feeder, which automatically reloads the Peacekeeper and the Triple Take, while making them charge faster. You got that? You got that? Oh, <laughs> the serious. kinetic feeder, bro! The Volt is in the package, and the alternator is out. And Olympus got thicker. Not Loba thick, but it is bigger. We also have a new LTM called Control, but if you want to learn more about that, you can watch the video after this video is done, okay? <sighs> so that's season 12 in a nutshell. But you know why you're here. For Mad Maggie, of course. Duh! So let's learn how to play her, shall we? Mad Maggie has- wait, this can't be right. Two passives? Pathfinder doesn't even have one! Her passive, Warlord's Ire, temporarily highlights enemies you've damaged, and you move faster with a shotgun. The first part is fine. The scan doesn't last too long, but it's good for poking enemies behind cover or in smoke. But respawn, that's the fifth legend in a row with some type of scan. There's other cool abilities out there. If you need help, here's a few ideas. Take any of these, free of charge. But I digress. Her other passive has some utility though, since she gets no movement penalty with shotguns, meaning there's no reason to never have a shotgun out if you're just running around. With the shotgun, she is amazing, and it makes fighting with them extra spicy. Plus, you get this sick Mastiff animation every time you pick one up. It's Mwah, beautiful. You can literally win whole matches with just shotguns, like I did on Twitch. <clears throat> let me get him, let me get him, it's all me. <laughs> the nice, nice door. Her tactical is the riot drill. She fires a drill that sticks to walls and penetrates it, hitting whatever's behind it, which can get some sick and unexpected kills on weakened enemies, or just force an enemy to move away from their cover. <laughs> she's burning, she's burning, she can't leave. <laughs> you can shoot it at any angle, through the roof, through the floor, sideways, it doesn't matter. It's even a soft counter to Gibby's bubble. It will linger for a few seconds, even after you die. No! And I burned him to death! And I burned him to death! Don't underestimate the tactical. The drill kills. Standing. Burning him, burning him. Oh, they're getting so burned! Let's go! Her ultimate is Wrecking Ball! You throw it out like a Beyblade. Seriously, you even got the zip tie thing too. Get in line. And the ball will release a bunch of speed boosting pads and eventually detonate near enemies, stunning them and doing a bit of damage. It can be used to help your team push an enemy aggressively or run away from enemies. Or you can help your dumb teammates get back to their loot after they fall off the map. I'm looking at you, doe. Yo, that wall came out of nowhere. Came I'm rising you right here. I'm rising you right nowhere, here. Dude, who put that wall there? 
Dude, I'm I'm literally playing with a liability on my team right now. Okay, now loot up. Just know that anyone can use the boost pads, even your enemies, and they will go away after a while. Indoors, it just creates so much chaos, and the ball can be used to distract enemies and block choke points. Just make sure it doesn't get stuck on anything. You can also use it to boop enemies off the map, which is pretty easy to do on Olympus, because there's holes everywhere. Everyone already calls me Mad Mackie, so you can trust me. Listen to these pro tips. Number one, you can shoot Maggie's tactical on a crypto drone and essentially have this big flaming fire gun flying around. Don't get me wrong, it's not that crazy, but it's hilarious and can get some funny kills. Okay, lower it. Okay, that's perfect. Go! <laughs> You're burning him! You're burning him! He's on the set! You got it! <laughs> Wait, I got him! And I got the kill for it! I really hope they don't patch this. It's not that broken. Number two. Her ultimate can be launched with Octane's jump pad or Horizon's tactical. So if you want it to be sent further or higher, you can combo with them. Number three. You can use Maggie's tactical to block entrances if you don't want enemies to come inside or you just need to heal. And on top of that, if any enemy is blocking a door thinking that they're safe, your tactical will go right through it and eventually break the door, making her the perfect character for breaching an enemy building. So if you know you're fighting a Maggie, don't heal behind a door. Or you noob? <laughs> Number four. Unfortunately, her ultimate does not stack with Octane or Bangalore speed boosts. So if you were expecting to go stupid fast like Sonic speed, it's not gonna happen with Maggie. I'm sorry, Octane mains. I know you want to go fast. I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting Mad Maggie to come to the game so quickly, but I'm kind of glad she did because she's a ton of fun and a welcome addition to the Apex lore. Her kit, while individually strong, isn't really cohesive and it kind of feels like they took four different abilities and just slapped them onto an already existing character. Like what does a drill have to do with a ball and running fast with a shotgun? There's nothing that really glues these abilities together. But regardless, she's still a ton of fun. But how is she for noobs? For noobs, I would say she's somewhere between medium and hard to play. A lot of her kit it isn't too hard to use, but you're gonna need to practice a lot to get the most value out of it and understand when to use the drill and when to use your ultimate. But what do you think? Do you think Mad Maggie's easy to play? Do you think Mad Maggie's hard to play? Do you think she needs buffs or needs nerfs? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, I gotta go practice shooting my tooth even further, so uh, I'll catch you later. Ya noob!